Coach, how was practice today? You know, I, I, I'm going to watch it on film. I thought we took a little step. I thought our effort to the ball, and I uh, thought we did a few technique things a little bit better today, so I was pleased with that on defense. I don't know if we took a step today offensively. Uh, again, I think we're a little better defensively today, and maybe a little worse from Saturday on offense. But uh, again, I need to watch the film to solidify that. After watching the film from the scrimmage on Saturday, mm -hmm. going back and seeing it again, were there people who stood out that maybe missed the first well, glance? Well, I thought, uh, again, you know, I thought a couple of our receivers, like Jalen, Quez, some of those guys, I thought had pretty good games. Uh, Jack, I thought, threw the ball well. Uh, again, T-Rod was having a good scrimmage, I felt like. I felt like our offense line and our offense as a whole probably uh, got the, probably won the scrimmage. It was close. I felt like coming out of our offense did really good. I felt like we got in that minus side of the field, the defense kind of won at it, so it was, it was pretty close to a tie. But, uh, again, some guys made plays. I didn't think we tackled too badly, so that's a plus. But uh, first scrimmage, we got to get better for the second scrimmage. Just a little bit cautious with T-Rod now, the injury? Yeah, he'll be fine. He'll be back, you know, but he'll be out for a few days. Coach, can you talk about your battle with your two deep safeties? Uh, yeah, there's four or five there. I mean, it was Xavier and Tyler. Start off in Kyle and Shannon. I think it made a push. I think that's a live, true battle of starting jobs there. Uh, again, I think uh, in the scrimmage, Kyle flashed, Shannon flashed. So we're going to open it up on this next scrimmage and find out who those two are going to be. Where's the youngster Nicario at? He's a football player. It's just he's still learning. He's young. So, you know, college football's got a few more complexities. And, uh, so those are the things that he's picking up right now. Once he gets a hold of it, he's going to be a great football player. Have you uh, found any surprising maybe leaders that have stepped up so far on the football team for you uh, guys? we've got a good football team. I really do. I think uh, I think we got a lot of leaders. You know, I don't know if the days are where there's one guy or two guys. You know, I hadn't seen that in almost 10 or 15 years. I think it's uh, – but I think we do have an outstanding bunch of guys. I think we got a lot of leaders and just a lot of guys that are made out of the right stuff. I'm talking about Southern this guy. So, uh, you know, I think that's kind of what we rely on. Of your good men playing hard. Of your freshmen that you've got so far, who, who in your opinion, has really impressed you the most? Well, well that's a great question. Uh, you're making me scan, but Trace Clopton, you got to say he's come in and earned the start and center job. That's pretty impressive for a true freshman. Uh, looking down the line, just trying to. You know, Tate Wally at quarterbacks done some really good things. He's been impressive. Trubisky Mosley at tailback. Cam King, offensive lineman. He's had a really good camp so far, working with the twos. Uh, Ethan Evanson on defensive line has really had some good days. Uh, Hayes Maples, a linebacker, uh, really has been impressive. Uh, when you look out wide, Curry Ben at corner. We talked about Nicario, he's flashed. Uh, JJ got here late, but he's shown a few things. I know I'm missing some guys. It's hard to remember everybody, but I think uh, you know, those guys, I think the freshman group has really done well this camp. How many will play, you know, four games and how many will play a season? That's still yet to be determined. I've seen Lamarck kind of walking around with the brace. Yeah, yeah. He he's, gonna he's, gonna be, yeah he's gonna be he's gonna be out. He'll be he'll be out six to eight weeks, but I think he'll be fine. Yeah, you know, it's uh, but uh, you know that's completely his call on that. Playing freshman is that something you like doing, or is, is that? A well, it's going to be something I think, Jack. That's going to be the sign of the times, with the, especially with the four game deal. You're going to have a few more freshmen playing. I don't think there's any doubt of that. So we do have some guys that are qualified and. and those ones that deserve, they deserve playing time. They need to play. The ones we need to win for the season are going to have to play the season. But last year we had a ton of true freshmen play last year, a ton. But we had to have them. You know, we were down on numbers, and the freshman class allowed us to stabilize our numbers. You know, so we're going to, you know, the team comes first. There is no I. There is no. It's all about the team and whatever the team needs, the team gets. You know, and that's the reality, and that's our decision. We want to do what's best all the time, but he's a young man, but first and foremost, we have to do the best was best for our football team and all 110. Cool. Thank you, Jerry. All right.